Gonna do a quick boot review here on two Red Wing style boots. These are Red Wing 875. These are Red Wing Irish Setters. I bought these about three weeks ago. I think I gave 139 for them, maybe a little less, I don't remember. And these were in the 269 range. I ordered these online. Uh, out of the box, Comfort, these win top, hands down. You have to break these in. I knew that from watching videos. My uncle, my late uncle had a pair. It's all he would wear. And uh, I knew you'd have to break them in. But just out of the box, these are like walking on a cloud in heaven. The leather's soft. The bottom's thick and soft. It, just no breaking in at all. These are like strapping. I don't know. Maybe a catcher's mitt to your foot tied to a cinder block. That's kind of what they feel like. The leather's really hard, a lot better quality. You can't even push down on it hardly. This one, you can push all the way down, all the way in. So the leather quality's a lot better on these, and I assume they're gonna last a lot longer by everything I know about them. I think you can resole these, but don't hold me to it. They just look like it. I don't know that to be a fact. I'm not a shoe expert. I'm not sure how long the leather would last. Even if you can resole it, how long that would last. These, I know you can resole. You can put Vibram soles or go back with the wedge sole. I mean, there's all kinds of options you can do like that. I like the wedge because I don't like a heel on mine and I don't like the big cleats either. I'm always in the grass and in, in the field and I like that these clean a lot easier. Um, Personally, but this is the first wedge shoes that I've had wedge sole shoes. So I'm just saying I, I like them so far This one looks to be Separating at the bottom already after three weeks. That's a little concerning to me We'll see how it holds up but the soles Separating from the midsole there already the left one wasn't doing that yet So hopefully that don't come off on me anytime soon because I'd like to at least get a good year out of these. I'm not sure. The tongue on this one it only uh, connects to the, to the where the laces go from the second from the bottom the, the second hole from the bottom but I haven't had any problem with any debris getting in there. These are solid all the way up to the second hole from the top so I assume nothing's going to get in this one. These have a padded collar, which will probably wear out over time too. It's nice and soft. These do not, which is not a big deal. This one has a pull tab on the back, which I like putting the boot on. I always wear shorts 99% of the time, but uh, the few time, the few days a year that I do wear blue jeans, which is very rare, I don't like when the jeans catch on these. I don't wear my cuffs at the bottom of my pants or nothing. I'm not in the style. I just wear loose fit jeans and when I get in and out of the truck, sometimes they'll catch and I have to constantly adjust that. So I like that these don't have it for that reason. And it just looks cleaner and better without it. But the only time you miss it is when it's when you're putting it on because these are a little harder to get on too than these. The shoelaces on these feel like they're a better quality too for for whatever reason, they feel thicker and a little firmer. I may be wrong on that, but that's just how they feel. But uh, here's the insides. They're both, again, the same size. I don't know if I mentioned that. Both uh, 11 and a half E2s. And the Irish Setter is, is quite a bit wider. You can tell just by the bottom of the sole. If I mention this, overlook me. I've tried to make this video four times and the GoPro keeps cutting off. But uh, I use this Hubert shoe grease I bought for these and I, I just now cleaned them really good because they've been covered in grass and everything else. And uh, I put a coating of that on there. That stuff smells kind of good too. Everybody says it smells like a campfire. It just smells like good leather to me. But uh, I just I like it. We'll see how it how it protects and if it'll bead water up and stuff on them. I haven't put it on these yet. Not going to till I get them broke in. 
and start wearing them wearing them outside side of them the inside of these it just has a regular if you can see in there it just has a regular uh, insole like a tennis shoe these are leather on the inside a lot better quality which you can expect for the price difference I think I'm going to try some Thor goods next. There's a guy on Instagram told me how good they were, and I probably should have bought them instead of these. I just, these were available at that store, and I was needing a pair, and I just jumped on them when I seen them. But uh, I've heard these don't last that long, and, you know, I, I'm not sure. I'm going to see for myself. I'm going to wear them till, till I can't, and then I'll keep updating the videos if anybody's interested to see how they hold up. I believe that's it. I believe I covered pretty much everything. If you got any questions, feel free to ask them. You guys take care. God bless.